Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50 Round 1 match between Dalibor and his Dark Elves and Diomed and his Skaven. In the booth with me is Purple Chest. Hello! Oh! Look at that. I'm looking to forward to this. Do love seeing some Dark Elves. Obviously a big elf lover. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Obviously, PC. <laughs> Yeah, this is the Super Roger. Um, Roger yeah. for Dimmy. And, and like, he, he called the team Roger for Dimmy and he rolled yep. three doubles on it. Like, how amazing is that? And and lovely it is. Blodge Claw Mighty. I mean, wow. You could trust that in the pack. It's really hard. I mean, most teams are going to have a hitty tackler, but you've got to get enough on it for that one piece to be able to do things to it. it it's oh, a lovely, lovely big guy. And a team that usually doesn't need one, but if you could always get one like that, you'd have it, wouldn't you? Yeah, I guess I guess you would, but it's a lot of TV. Um, Dalibor has a babe as his only inducement, so at least it didn't cost him a wizard. Uh, Thirteen players: guard, wrestle dauntless, adj up. Uh, what is that sprint? I show off. Adj up sprint two heads. So like kind of adj six. That's a really nice gutter, isn't it? But only one really nice gutter. Sorry, I'm sure you've been talking, Jim. I'm just lost watching that tail switch. <laughs> sort of. yeah. um, yes, only one really nice gutter, yes. Um, 80k, 80k gutters are, Jim. Yes. No one told me. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Rat coaches can just all the way off, can't they? Um, mm -hmm. 80k. Yeah. I don't know, they've been born. Try buying a wolf. Yeah, um, he, he so yeah, the gutter pack is, isn't isn't great, but it's there, and there's lots of them, and that still gives you lots of move and lots of agility. Um, I I don't hate the blodge guard one, so yeah. And then the others, mm, oh, yeah, he's dead. Wow. Yeah, blodge guard is good, but I mean, like side, he hasn't got sidestep, has he? No, he, which would know, be really nice on him, yeah. So, wow, he's going to blitz this guy, is he? No, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so that was weird, wasn't it? Exposing the tackle there. I wasn't really watching, to mm. be honest. I don't know how the tackle was exposed. But there you go. And then, uh, obviously, Dalibor's team's really good. 12 players, loads of blodge, loads of guard, add up, mighty blow, tackle. It's a really, really nice uh, team. It certainly is. But is Roger going to do his worth? Well, I, mean, I suppose we should call it Dimmy, shouldn't we? But... Uh... Yeah, stun. Jimmy's uh, Jimmy's a guard storm vermin, not quite as uh, not quite as extravagant. But <laughs> mm. If it skills again, do you get it piling on, Jim? Uh, oh yes, I would have already taken. Yeah, piling I on. kind of might. Yeah, I would have already taken piling on. Mine would have <laughs> been mine would have been claw piling on jump up. <laughs> 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 no, I guess I would have taken the claw block, and then, uh, and then probably, yeah, you probably, you probably almost have to take dodge, I guess. I think you probably do, but dodge or pile on, isn't it? <laughs> or guard, it's I guess. Just I guess. Such a nightmare for people to deal with. Mm, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good having a strength five bludger that that murders anything it touches. 80k Raven, shut up. <laughs> Buy a bull centaur. <laughs> it's it's crazy, and this the fact there's up to four of them as well. Like you know, at least yeah. if you had two of them, that you know that would be would be terrible. Four of them for pretty much the same price as two bull centaurs. Yeah. Or two war dancers. Yeah, well, three, three is exactly the same as two dances, isn't it? It's funny when when we we had a we had a league where you were allowed it was on fumble and you were allowed any single player like any player of any type on your team and uh, yeah. funny enough we all took a war dancer and we all took a, a good one. <laughs> yeah, well, those are. We well, the other two I've mentioned are decent players, but those two are absolute standouts. Yeah. Yes, pro elf blitzers are also a good deal. Yes, they are. Yeah. Sagittarius, but these are still all players 100k and upwards. Cutters are 80k. 80. <laughs> they only catch 100 when they've already got one skill. And they're not 
for. It's it's interesting which is the better player between, like which is the better slot to have on your team, isn't it? Because like obviously dancers are just better than gutters, like yes. But but um, it makes you wonder, yeah, like which which slot is better? Because four gutters is really really fucking good. <laughs> it really is. And I guess there's certain teams where a gutter runner is just better than a dancer, isn't there? Like, you know, like for a, say, for example, a chaos team, like Cyber's chaos team, he'd rather have a gutter than a dancer, wouldn't he? Because he can just make well, a dedicated you, I one turn. I know what you mean, the dedicated one turn there, just raw faster. But it, I mean, a dancer is such a good piece, Jim. You know, blodge out the box is so good. They're still adequately fast at move eight. If you really want it to be faster, just throw sprint or short and sure feet on it. it um, I don't know. I think there is a reason they are a lot more than gutters. Though gutters still have huge potential. I mean, they are better, yeah. But like, as a player, they're better. But on Cyber's team, a gut runner is definitely better. There's not even a choice there. Yeah, yeah. It's just instant. There's only one player, and there's a lot of teams like that where they just don't need the dancer as much as they need a, as, as much as they need a natty one turn. <laughs> It's what's happened to um, well, to the entire rule set, you could say to some degree. But to it used to be Bretonians with broken Galante, but now of course it's Imperial ability trying to do it with um, Griff. It's the whole idea of just keep something fast behind a line of more or less trash and look for the opportunity to just potato it forwards with everything it's got. And of course the gutter has got a little bit more just raw pace to do that. The new Amazon blocker, yeah, the new Amazon blocker, probably the best player in the game. That's my hot yes, take. Yes, certainly one of them, definitely. Well, it's probably still not as good as good as... <laughs> I, mean, I, think, I think it's going to be right up there in the sort of company we're talking about. Yeah, it's incredible, like, absolutely. Not out the box, but, but, but potential-wise, it definitely is out the box. And then put two skills on it, one even, and it's just terrifying. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Like, one skill, it's a 250k star player. Like, that is insane. Like it's essentially as good as a 250k star player after one skill. Like that is that is unbelievable. They're so good. But yeah, obviously a bit shit without block. And now, despite the uh, the quality and depth of this dark elf team, the rats are getting this done. Yeah, more or less. It's. I mean, safe isn't the first word that leaps to mind, but it's, you know. Oh, oh Dimmy, keep your filthy hands off, Dimmy. <laughs> No. Oh, Dimmy's unbeatable. Yes! <laughs> Dimmy the champ. Thanks, six dice. Oh, man. Dimmy the champ. He's unbeatable. And then uses dodge on the last one, too. It's. Oh, that's lovely. Eight dice sucked. <laughs> what did they this do? This zone should yet? not suck their dice. <laughs> it was humour. And not life advice. There you go. Um, what's it called? Zon blockers are six four three eight with dodge and defensive, so they're pretty good. No, that witch that had took the six dice has both mighty blow and tackle. Yeah, yeah, incredible, wasn't it? That is their tackle resource, and she just shat the bed. Yep, he got the best possible hit he could, didn't he? You know, like, yeah. To be fair, to, to Dalibor. It probably took him ten minutes to find it, but he got <laughs> he got I mean, it was the best lovely. It was, you know, two it into two, get. followed followed by a reasonable foul if you really want to. It was lovely, but it uh, just didn't work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things don't. Mm -hmm. Now he gets a hit of gutter. Does get the knockdown because the gutter's not as good as Dimmy. Yeah, that's a good point. Jimmy Jimmy survived the uh, the potential surf and just general getting battered. Mm. Don't hurt him. Good. Is World Sitar a famous rager? I, I don't think so. I know nothing about World Sitar, I know the name, but I've never had sort of enough experience of the individual to give a verdict at all. Yeah, I've, like, I've only seen his games, I don't think I've played them, so 
he could be a moaner of that and I just didn't know. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's nice, isn't it? The, the chain to get the uh, the surf from Dimmy. Dimmy Flea. the champ. The only problem is defending the ball. But my, a minor detail, I guess. Yeah, it's a... Uh, <laughs> ball is some things to be thinking about, even. I'm not sure it was worth it. I mean, because now does he just score or does he risk the whole game on a 1-9? in nine? I mean, and, and how does he even... Yeah, he'd have to run back. Yeah, he can't stall it. There's nothing he could do, actually. Yeah, that wasn't so good, was it? There was no hiding from that witch elf, right? It, you know, he could have just... Yeah, there was nothing he really could have done. Well, shit. Yeah. Maybe he shouldn't have just made that... Maybe he shouldn't have done the nice chain <coughs> to get the surf. Maybe he should have protected the ball but it is hard to protect the ball from this witch elf isn't it you know like even if he makes a big cage it can still just get in and 2d him so uh my son needs me for a bit i will be back okay, okay. defending the ball is super <laughs> that's easy. true Sato. it's it's a lot easier for someone like space cadet but you know for for poor little ccl winners it's a bit trickier <laughs> Yes, not a yeah. Maybe he just maybe he just thought, oh, I can make a serve, and then after he did it, it, it looked like it looked like one of those turns where you think, oh, I can do this, and then you're like, oh fuck, I shouldn't have. It it had the look of that. It had the look of that that kind of turn. Where, you know, like we've all done that, haven't we? Well, Dalibor set up for the uh, for the two one win, barring a one turn, isn't he? You know, like the, uh, he's got this three turns is pretty good odds. It doesn't look anything too. Di oh, okay, well now there's something dangerous about this elf, this Skaven team. <laughs> there's nothing too dangerous about this Skaven team apart from the blitz, but he's he's he hasn't fielded his best gutter. Not that it would have been in range. And this is not helping his defense, is it? This is like a mega, mega overcommit here. Ooh, brutal scatter. Brutal scatter. What does he do then? Does he like bring somebody back and screen them and pass it to them? Because that's horrendous. Like somebody about here or something. I don't know what it is, or he's just gonna. You don't want him to intercept, do you? That's the problem. You don't leave an intercept on. I don't know what he's doing. Like he can't just pick it up. <laughs> he can't not pass it. What? Okay, well he just has to pass. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, this is wrong, isn't it? Kazingham is pretty good. And he's got sidestep there. I guess that does cover it, doesn't it? That was uh It's actually worked out pretty well, hasn't it? Like that's actually really nice. Really nice. But holy moly. It's worked out great, hasn't it? Like, in the end, probably a good spot. Because this, this being bodged, that means you can't 1D to get anything through or anything. Obviously, like, it helps casting the, casting the gutter. Mm. 
And it's safer, isn't it, than doing a pass? Oh, I'm surprised. That's what happens when you actually think about turns for five minutes, eh? <laughs> you can... You can, uh, you can do things. It does need some scoring threats, though. Like, that was one of the benefits of the pass, was that it got down down the field, didn't it? Like, if he passed up to, up to somebody up here last turn, then uh, he would have had stuff here this turn starting it, and then they would have moved here and moved forward and stuff, so... It was a big payoff to, like, getting the ball upfield quickly. Run bad. It's not running well at all. So there's two two scoring threats. I think he maybe should have double GFI just to get in range. GFI fail. No, gets the pow. Whoa. And you bracket this guy. Which doesn't really do a lot. Because it's still just a 3-2 out, which is super easy, barely an inconvenience. Probably have to dodge and get another guy on him. I wonder if he could have... I wonder if he should have put these two in the front. And then dodged him out to go in the back. That would have failed anyway. Or like the side. So he'd always two plus out that way. Because like, this is just too easy, isn't it? Like, this is way too easy to... to free him and get in the end zone like it's stupidly easy like even if even if he can't blitz like it's just a 3-2 right and this was super easy the relay probably isn't uh, isn't this even amazon necessary. coach like yourself obviously 3-2 uh, well, is uh not something you'd be frightened of is it no no like that i mean that was the worst case scenario wasn't it like that yeah was thing yeah absolutely and, and in the end it was a two plus yeah. Hello, Diamond. No spoilers, please. <laughs> we are catching up. Um, I, I, I think this was going on when we started. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I remember. Yeah, this was still casting blood ball. Yeah. Uh, I doubt we'll catch up because it's Dalla Ball. <laughs> this, this, this has already started when we when <laughs> this was live when we started started this. streaming Blood Bowl on a th as a thing on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, Dimmy in action is glorious, isn't it? My god, what a player. It's so good, isn't it? It's like it's so good that the team is named the team is named a ro Dimmy a Roger for Dimmy and then like it's Dimmy the Roger. Like that already is good enough. But then that he's got claw block and dodge, it's just incredible. <laughs> What were the chances? <laughs> Unbelievable. As you pointed out, it is such a TV sync that it's perhaps not ideal for the team. No, no, definitely. Yes, not. I, th I think so, Dio. Yes, I think stalling there was probably the answer. Yeah. Um, as we've seen, this this dark elf team has a lot of agency in terms of getting things done it's it's got just lovely players all over nothing particularly hugely starry but just lots of solidity throughout the roster yeah yeah really nice really nice dark elf team god do you, do you remember sam axe uh purple chest of burn notice on uh fumble uh no i can't say i do he was, a, he was a great rattle on Azure's right. Skaven team. And he had he had claw, juggernaut panning on, pro, break tackle and jump up. And oh, that's wow, that's awful. <laughs> he was brilliant. 246 cars in 146 games. <laughs> 537 SPP. Absolute legend. It's already getting a little thin here. Yeah, yeah. Like this is a this is a pretty nice dark up team, isn't it? Plenty of guard, a couple of mighty. Balls, yeah, there's nothing balls. that catches the instant eye, is there? Nothing you go, oh, look at that piece. 
Mm. But then you go from piece to piece, and you go, oh, yeah, that's solid, oh, that's solid, oh, that's that's all right, yeah, well, they've got that too. Mm, it's got, yeah. And suddenly, yeah, there's almost nothing that's absolutely horrible. Everything has got some fun to it, some agency, some options. There's plenty of guard, there's loads of blanche, there's some sidestep in there, there's a witch that can do things. I personally would prefer jugs there to Mighty Blow, but lots disagree with me, and that's fine. Yep. There's an agility piece for the ball, it's just got everything but nothing nothing hugely bloaty, nothing that if it's removed you think, well that screwed the team. Yeah. Because it's, there's there's depth to almost everything there. It, it, it's really good for like a team like this, you know, like this Skaven team hasn't got a lot like of bashiness to it has it like it's got a strength five guy sure but it's like you know if, if you put this if you put Dalibor's team in versus like say Elliot's it's it's lacking like the star players isn't it like the double move up or the strength up or, or like an actual good edge five player to go like is he slow isn't he like this lineman yes so he's not like you know if a positional had like it, it's missing the stats for like the really the really powerful teams yeah but for the teams that aren't like as strong like this, it, then then just having multiple mighty blow tackles is brilliant, isn't it? Like having these both mighty blow yeah, tackles. Yeah, having options on both sides thing. of the pitch, which sensibly is where they are. Mm. You know, experience play there, trying to keep them separate, so you've got options everywhere for whatever you choose to hit. Um, no, I mean I really like it. I think if you're going to build elves flat rather than tall, to use that analogy, um, this is the sort of way of doing it. Just making sure you're spreading everything out so that. As I keep saying, you know, losing one isn't going to lose you the game because you've got two guard blodge, um, two guard blodge blitzers. You've got two mighty blow tackle hitters. You've got, you know, everyone can carry the ball on an elf team, but your AG it isn't doing other jobs. It is just about ball carrying and handing off or throwing. Um, you know, lots of wrestle. There's a dirty player or a kick. Well, that's a kick, isn't it? It's just got lots of solidity. But yeah lacks true stars. You think it would come up against one of the monsters of the chalice and, and perhaps not have quite enough. Yeah. And the rat team's got a lovely rat ogre and <laughs> is in the chalice first round. Yep. <laughs> got a great got a great gutter as well that is bent yes. still. Yeah. Well, I mean, at this point, it's that's your turn 16. It's all gone wrong. Save me and get me to overtime option. Yeah. So I, I don't hate that's on the bench. And the other gutters aren't utterly shit. They're just a bit shit for Chalice. Yes. They're the sort of gutters you think, oh, put 10 more games on this and it's going to be Chalice ready. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the team would be so much better with without without Dimmy and with, with more skills on the gutters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and more skills on the Storm Vermin. But, you know, it's still kind of fine. But you took a team that would have been better not every round, but a lot of rounds without a death roller, all the way to the semi-final, Jim. That's true. And sometimes yeah. you should do things because you're enjoying it. Or because yeah. someone's giving you loads of money to. <laughs> yep. Just Either the same of those thing. is fine. <laughs> it is. It is, yes. Just as I said, I said, well, there's a dead corpse, isn't it? That's, um... A tautology. There you go. Sagittarius I never was until the new rule set where I started taking a sneaky git Dark Elf. And I love it. <laughs> I mean, Dimmy the Ogre is like the best thing about the team, don't get me wrong, but it's, yeah. it's also the worst. It's a bit like yeah. Crusher, you know, like Crusher was so much fun. And we'll, we'll, live, we'll live forever in my memory, Crusher, whereas all of the random other Chaos teams are like eminently forgettable. But Which Crusher were probably actually better, as you said. Fun isn't always, you know, a good thing in Blood Bowl, sadly. <laughs> yeah. A bit boring, but optimal is usually safer. Mm. Ooh, yeah, I, I don't big. love that. That's another 3 2 into the backfield. Uh, but of course, Dimmy has to blitz because that's what you've got, so you <laughs> use it. Blitzing with the Roger. Yeah, Dalbo has played very well, yeah. Yep, can't argue with that. Yes, no, I agree, Makers. You know, Diamond's played well apart from like maybe that third turn where he went in early, maybe he should have thought more about. How the hell do yeah. I protect this ball rather than 
play the turn then like oh I'm fucked that was certainly the impression that the, the, that was how the turn was played right we, like, we've all had that kind of turn right so that, that's yeah. what it, it looked like one of those turns for sure no other option no? fair enough so you, you, you so you did you did realise how bad it was and just went in okay it, it looked like, I'll do this and I'll do this and I'll do this, and then like, whoops, <laughs> guess I've got to score now. Well, you could argue that 1-0 with an option, with, a, with an attempt to turn them down to 1-1 is better than 0-0 nil -nil with them having an attempt at 0-1. Yes, it is, yeah. So, there is a logic behind if there's, you know, if you really think it's going to be like that, get it done and hope. You never know, riot on the kickoff, or pitch invasion, there's all sorts of things that can mean, even when it looks utterly impossible to stop them, you do. Oh my god. Double double dodge, let's fucking go. <laughs> Please. Because it's a five five with a re-roll isn't that bad, right? And then he's and then he's got he's got tackle on the second one. Oh, I guess you five. just one D him, you just one D him. Yes, he gets the pow! Yes, let's fucking go! Okay, that's beautiful. Timmy 3D as well. Timmy for the win. Oh, though, though the gut the gut was your recovery, you could have punted it, couldn't you? Let's fucking go. Uh, I'll make it. Boom. And the removal. And pick it up. Yes. Please pick it up. Oh, it's in a tackle zone. Diced. Oh, fuck off. Never. No justice. Oh, no never justice lucky. in the world. Robbed. That is genuinely robbed. <laughs> I mean, you, you don't want to 4-3-2 this, so there's a little bit of... Okay, you're just coming out that way. That's fine. That works perfectly. I was just going to say, what you want to do is blitz your way out because you don't want to dodge off the tail, even if you create an area to. So he did. And just got it nice and safe. I'm prepared to put a lot of money. That didn't happen anywhere near that quickly, though. <laughs> yes. Yep. Glorious. Hello, Runbad. Thank you very much for the raid. No spoilers, please. We haven't done your match yet. Uh, but we'll do. We'll do soon. Glorious. Pushed to meet the ball myself, yeah. Oh man, that would that was so good. So that would have been so good, wouldn't it? It sucked as well because it really needed the 3D, like you know, with him having dodge. But then it stopped the gutter recovery, didn't it? But, but then there was the rogue recovery. Like the rogue recovers in a four plus most of the time, doesn't he? So like, Jimmy has been pretty good, Jimmy. Him. He has actually been really good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's behaved. He's he's. Done what's been asked of him, and he's got himself the kills and the casualties. Yeah. Been a yes. constant thorn in the Delft side. <laughs> yep, yeah. yeah, he has actually been really good. He has been really good. Whether he's been worth his TV or not. Yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm know, just saying he's been good. He has been really good. Yeah, he's been better than he's been a lot better than a lineman. Whereas he there's massively games... exceed expectations and still not actually be worth it. That's that's yeah. fine. Yeah, but like there's games where a, where a where a rat ogre is worse than a lineman, isn't that? You know. Yes. And, and he has been he has been very much better than a lineman, but still maybe not worth his TV as as brilliant as he has been. Like he's been brilliant. To be fair, it's actually probably one of the best games ever played by a rogue. <laughs> of course, in 2020, he'll be able to just choose and wait and get those skills if he wants, but they'll come at 30 TV more collectively. Oh God! Just that whether that would be ever deemed worth it. I, I think doubles are going to be a lot rarer. Than people yes. Think. Yeah, as well like, oh, because it takes yeah, more SPT as well. Right? Save up for all the doubles. I'm like, well, are you? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, and then a lot depends on like. It's weird. It's a lot depends. So much depends on format now. That's the thing. So there's yeah. there's no like hard and fast rules. It's like, yeah, ab absolutely. Really and what there is, as you said, if suddenly we've got a no redraft and you can play 70 games before some form of chalice, that's going to tear up everything everyone knows about the rule set. Yeah. Plus armour. Plus armour's the key to victory. That's all I know. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Nice cheer. Is it five games with random skills and see if you've got something to build on top of? Yeah. Was it strength for 
defensive players with Blotch carrying the ball. It's 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 all of these things actually. It's literally all of these things. The linemen's go randos and plus AVs <laughs> and then the, the strength for blood defensive players get a million stats. That's the thing, Jim. That, I mean I think you and I are pretty good at predicting the future when we look at rule sets. We can tell how they might get broken and what's likely to happen. But then there's always something that happens that you're not predicting and haven't thought about and I wonder what that will be. Well, I've 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 predicted it with a plus AVs. That's the one that. Yeah, no, that's talking. that's a good shout for the outlier. Mm. I haven't heard a lot of people talking that up, but it, it does sound very cheap. Mm. Imagine an Armour Nine Zon team. <laughs> Christ, <laughs> it's brutal, wouldn't it? I mean, how brutal would that be? I never thought they'd give it to a strength four player. I have been saying for a while. I think defensive is more interesting than we've given it credit for. Yeah, it's all right. It's just, it's just going to be interesting, and I, I wonder what it'll end up being combined with, and if we all end up going, oh, that's really interesting, or oh, that's shit. Who knows? We'll see. Be interesting. We've only got a few more months to wait until they tell us what the next release date is. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Just about two months until Blood Bowl 3 allegedly releases with half of the teams and half of the rules. But, um, you know, it'll still be something, won't it? Do you dodge pick up with a killer? Yeah, probably diamond. You can't leave the ball on the ground against elves, can you? That's the, that's the sad... The sad reality is... There's no rerolls, though, for the Dells here, so... He's got to make it a 3D. Um, yeah, caught packs. I mean, <laughs> it was really un it was much more unlikely that Cyanide would release Blood Bowl three than, than Dave winning Chalice. <laughs> despite him going round in the first round, despite him going out in the first round nearly every time. I would have still always bet on him winning in Chalice before Blood Bowl 3 came out. <laughs> uh, why, would it, why on earth would I want to bribe PC to throw his Chalice match? He's got no chance to win. Have you seen the matchup? Dwarves I am very much Amazons. up against it. Yeah. Oh, worst matchup he's ever had. But his, but his brave little Dwarves will do their best. <laughs> I'm going to try, Jim. I'll, you know, I'll pull everything I know and we will try, but I'm fine with it not being easy. <laughs> I'm used to tough dice. I'm used to tough situations. I'll cope somehow. <laughs> I'll just have to try and build a proper team for next season. <laughs> mm. One of these seasons I'm going to build a proper dwarf team, Jim. Four. I mean, this is pretty easy, right, with a sidestep. This should be... Um... It should be. I don't hate the pattern from Diomed. Yeah. I'd need a, an expert in here, and of course, uh, whilst I am a bit of an elf expert, I acknowledge there are people better than me at the one turning. I'm thinking, of course, of Corfue. Hmm. Eh? Do you just now, block with a... Dimmy? Yeah, I think you just... Uh, with Dimmy, I'd be tempted just to get the witch out of the picture. Yeah. And the problem with doing that is with the Frenzy, she can step right back to where she is. <gasps> P.I.? No, she can't. Can she? Oh. No. Ah, well, that probably... Not so easy yes, to get that, a one turn that, now, is it? <laughs> it's not going to be a one turn now, I would have thought. Oh, man. I'm not, I'm not going to guarantee it, Jim, because, you <laughs> oh, know... Oh, man. Bench him for the entire game, and then he just gets P.I.'d. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> And I, I had assumed, now I might be wrong here, but I, I had assumed that we were going to see overtime because this game took so long, but that was only 16 turns then, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do they get the same three minutes a turn that everyone else does, or do they get a bit more? Well, they, 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 they get 15 seconds on every single push uh, direction, yes. 15 seconds on every you weather bring follow or decision. Let's bit abuse to playing Chalice, I'd never thought of that. Yeah. 15 seconds on every uh, push power. Yeah. I did DC once. Uh, oh, okay. There you go. Got a bit of extra thinking time by a, by a pretend DC. 
<laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm no, not. you waited some time. Well, <laughs> yes, I'm sure you did. Um, look, uh, joking aside, I thought Talibor played that very well, actually. Uh, yeah. Used what he had really effectively. I don't blame Diamed for keeping that gutter on the bench. I think I would have done too. It's it's so such a, a powerful tool until the pitch invasion. Yeah, I thought. It... And I thought I thought Dimi was fun and, and did great. It just didn't quite ever get you the opportunity you were hoping it would, would it? Yeah, it was a weird game. I thought it was a weird game. Like both players played well. Nothing yep. remarkable happened. Nope. And there, were, there were no ridiculous dice, and like it just. Yeah, it's just it just happened, but yeah, good the, a good game the, of blood pool, I guess. The better team did win, though. Jim. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's, which yeah. is again, it's not something you expect in blood bowl, is it? But no, the one that beforehand you look at and you go, well, that one's quite fun, but I think this one will win. That's pretty much exactly what happened. Yeah, and it's down to that quality and breadth of skill, S skills, not skill as in the coach skill, but skills as in on the players. Correct. Right. Congratulations to da uh, Dalibor. They're both Ds. Commiserations to Diomed. Thank you very much, Purple Chest, as always. Glorious in the booth. <laughs> yeah, Dimmy did really great. Yeah, Dimmy did really great. Thanks it was, for it was so much fun in that, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.